When I was with the uh, uh, Australian uh, Sustainable Tourism Cooperative Research Centre, we were involved in a number of destinations uh, in a number of countries to pilot how they could become Green Globe destinations. And uh, one of them that comes to mind was Kikora in uh, the South Island of New Zealand, which is a major whale washing destination. And Kikora is a really wonderful and interesting and exciting place. And Green Globe was a focus for the whole community for them to get around and look at the sustainability of the destination. So that the destination developed in line with the, the desires of the local community. They loved and wanted the benefit from, from uh, tourists, but they also didn't want a lot of the downsides that could come from tourism. So they worked around, benchmarked themselves using the, uh, the tools that we'd developed, um, and then put in place a whole of uh, community strategy for sustainability. And it's one of the great small tourism destinations around. Um, in uh, Zhuzhaigou in uh, China, again, uh, another wonderful destination, perhaps one of the most remarkable uh, destinations in all of uh, China, became a Green Globe destination. And in China, we had to translate all the, uh, the standards and the benchmarking tools into Chinese. Um, and they, as the Chinese do, do things very thoroughly and very expertly. And Zhuzhai Go, I think, has benefited and it gets two or three million tourists a year these days into one of the most beautiful and sensitive and remarkable regions in southwest China. So they're just two to come to mind um, as you ask the question, but there's many more, um, I think, significant success stories that Green Globes have.